In this video, I really just want to share with you what biotin is, uh, what's good for, how the body uses it, and perhaps you've seen it in a dietary supplement or some type of food product. We're just kind of curious about it. Well, before I begin with this, um, down below there's a link, and if you click on I'm giving away a free video-based guide all about uh, giving you tips on shopping for dietary supplements and alternative medicines. Now, this vitamin also goes by the name of vitamin HRB7. It's part of that B family group. And the, the human body has a lot, a lot of uses for it, but a, a major one has to do with breaking down food with digestion. Proteins get tr broken down into amino acids, carbohydrates get transformed into car well, glucose. Now, when someone has adequate B7 levels, their body can digest food quickly, more quicker. This is good for a number of reasons. A, a big one is you just don't want food sitting in your stomach for too long. Your body's not designed for that. Apart from it being unpleasant, feeling-wise, believe it or not, if someone has a food sitting in their stomach for too long, they, a funky smell can even come from their skin, which is kind of not good, right? Now, a really cool thing about better digestion, uh, apart from helping the human body in so many different ways, is it may, may be able to help with weight loss, which so many people have problems with. Um, more good news, they can help with another huge problem that developed nations are, are facing, and has, that is diabetes. According to Langon Medical Center, there was this test where about 450 participants with type 2 diabetes took biotin and chromium for 90 days. The result was that both HBA and fasting glucose levels were reduced, lowered, and there was no adverse side effects. Now you might be kind of confused by that, but in a nutshell, it helped people with diabetes, and that's very positive and good. If that was enough. Uh, this vitamin can help help with cholesterol levels and blood pressure. Both are just great for so many things. Also, preventing the number one reason for death, and more blood flow is better for so many reasons. And, and a study to kind of confirm this in the January 2003 issue of the Journal of Human Hypertension. Um, shares that a reduced intake of B vitamins like biotin and folic acid increases the risk of hypertension in South African children. So there's some uh, definitely studies that back up that. And another way this vitamin is used by the human body has to do with uh, nail health, hair growth, and even skin care. And they show one study to back this up. In the United States National Library of Medicine, 45 patients with brittle nails were given a supplement with this, this vitamin. And in six months, 63% of the patients showed clinical improvement, tangible results from it. So that's, that's definitely great news, and the rest showed no change, really. Now, of course, you can get this vitamin through eating foods like eggs, fruits, vegetables, and nuts. You can also just take a multivitamin supplement too, which is what I usually recommend. And the interesting thing is, according to the University of Maryland Medical Center, as many as 90% of American diets are low in this vitamin. So it's another good reason why a multivitamin just might be the right thing for you, which I highly encourage it. The thing is with multivitamins and just supplements in general, there's a lot of choices out there, is, right? And they're all kind of confusing. So which ones do you go for? And the thing is, I looked, I did a ton of research on this, and I, I couldn't find, it was hard for me to get some really objective information about this. So what I did was I actually created this whole guide that shares tips on shopping for these types of products, which I think can help a lot of people. Um, got a lot of positive feedback from it. So thank you so much for people that have given me positive feedback. It goes over things like uh, what to look for in a supplement, what to avoid. It goes over ingredients that you want to avoid, and that that chapter alone um, in the report can definitely help a ton of people. I go over alternative medicine like herbal remedies and cool things you could do with your skincare and weight loss, fitness, and even the immune system and detoxing and stuff. It's also completely free. It's a lot of fun. I had a blast making it. And if you want to check it out, just click on the link below this video. I really appreciate uh, you giving me your time. I hope this video might have been helpful to a few people out there. If you liked the video, you would make my day if you clicked that thumbs up button. Um, thank you so much, and take it easy. Have enjoy the rest of your day.